Remember Paul Revere's cry, the British are coming? Well, not this time. This time it's the other way around. The Yanks are coming, and they're taking over a British candy institution. That's right, Kraft now owns Cadbury, a sale that has soured many a Brit. For Gloria Riviera, this American invasion, that's a sign of the time. Good afternoon. You join us from regular programming as the reports are flooding in with hundreds of objects appearing in the skies over London. The government has urged people not to panic. The military has been mobilised. Nobody seems to know where these objects have come from, but there have been unsourced reports that it may be connected to chocolate. As far as Brits are concerned, they're facing nothing less than an invasion. That's right, Kraft is here. Filling the skies, casting shadows on the streets. And Brits are fighting for their chocolate-loving lives. All these tiny morsels of heaven are Cadbury's chocolate. For centuries, from the cream egg to the dairy milk bar, Cadbury's chocolate has been a national treasure in England. So revered, even the Queen has her very own royal recipe. People go into raptures over Cadbury chocolate. Cadbury's unites everybody, high and low, the rich man in his castle, the poor man in his gate. It's just we've all grown up with it. It's like Alice in Wonderland. You need to choose it! So obsessed are Brits with Cadbury's that the English version of Disneyland is Cadbury World, where children spend an entire day honoring their sweet tooth. It melts in your mouth. I like it when it comes down your throat. It's just so tasty as well. Yummy. New Kraft macaroni and cheese. This year, the U.S. company Kraft, better known for making what some Brits call plastic cheese, took a big bite out of British culture when it gobbled up Cadbury for nearly $20 billion. British icons have bitterly fallen into foreign hands before. Take the Mini, now owned by Germans. The Chelsea soccer team, as beloved as any NFL team in the US, is actually owned by a Russian. But nothing has elicited the fury now felt towards Kraft and in turn, Americans. President Obama, you have given Forget foreign vote. diplomacy, it's Cadbury's future that could make or melt the special relationship between the U.S. and Great Britain. On Facebook, one critic put it this way, American chocolate tastes like baby f And taste is what it all comes down to. In the U.K., government regulations say chocolate candy must be made of 20% cocoa solids. In the U.S., less than half that. What are Americans saying? Get over it. We'll have to live with it. That's the way the world uh, rolls right now. You know, everybody's taking over everybody. But there is a worrisome precedent. Brits point to the Marathon Bar, sold to the Yanks, rather insultingly renamed Snickers, a word that rhymes with knickers, which in the UK means, well, underwear. If anyone feels the pain, it's Nikki Perry. She is the go-to source in New York for anyone needing a Cadbury fix. I like to think of myself as a drug dealer. And once I hand over that little piece of chocolate, Americans are like, wow, this is night and day. And then once they're hooked, that's it. Kraft says it will stay true to Cadbury's. As far as the special relationship is concerned, it's still as sweet as ever. Ultimately, the experts will decide. So tell me, what kind is your favorite chocolate? Dairy milk. Cream egg. Cream egg. Dairy milk. Oh, curly -wally. They'll be the ones to pass final judgment on what tastes best. Gloria Riviera, munching it over for Nightline in London.